What is up bros, my name is Ryan45678 and welcome back once again to Pathologic 2. Now it's been a little bit since we've played. Uh, there's been some real life stuff going on. Uh, obviously other priorities take focus, but uh, we're back at it. Um, yeah, like I always like to start off, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to Squawsky Bros for more gameplay commentary videos like this. And lastly, don't forget that there are affiliate links in the description below to places like Amazon. They'll help out the channel if you make purchases through those. So, hello, dogface boy. I forgot what name I gave you. The worst is yet to come. You was hard for a hunchback, but whoa, boy, you screw up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it too. You're gonna be in serious trouble. Uh, what kind of doggy are you? I'm a watchdog, I, and I watch out for your soul. No, wait, I'm a guide dog. Uh, I'm gonna guide your soul to its rightful place when you die. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I don't need his, well, yeah, pity, I guess. There you go, a tourniquet. It used to be my leash, but seems like you need it more. Thanks, you're a nice kid. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? What? No. Sing pow blam. Do you guys dead? They attacked me, dude. Don't pretend that's not what happened. This ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. What's the right way? Well, you gotta be nicer. Just just hit them three times max. Send them running. Let them run. Yeah, you don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. Uh, I'll keep that in mind. Okay, so yeah, so I can just talk to him again. The one with the knife was Kirik, a leather worker. I'm not gonna cry for him. That guy was nuts. Yeah, seriously. How long were they waiting for me? But who are the others? Heck if I know. Cannery workers. You can tell by their hands. Yeah, uh, bandits, man. I don't know, rumors going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out, who knows, maybe it's true. Hope it isn't. Yeah, trying to keep this town from dying, not shed more blood. I can't talk to him, so, uh, these two bird beaks things... I guess we could loot them. Yeah, um... Uh, a charm. Oops. Oh, obtain. Nice. Ship. We might as well. They don't need it. They're dead. Okay, so let's loot these guys. All of them. Fishing hooks. We'll take all that they have for now. We can get rid of it later if we don't need it. Oh, the chestnuts, chestnuts will be good with the kids. They love them. Alright. I believe... What is that? I don't know what that means. Does that mean we can talk to somebody over here? Anyway, um, yeah, if you haven't seen, where is it? Okay, it's like way up there. I'm, I'm probably in it. Yeah, I gotta hurry home. Uh, map, please. Anyways, if you have not seen my previous video on this game, uh, then that's the intro, and you might have missed that, so. Um... Okay, nobody cares about me anywhere. That's a good st a good change from the demo. If you saw my playthrough on the demo, everywhere you went was hostile. So basically, we start off, it doesn't matter, we can go to our, our dad's house, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything we could do to keep him from dying. He's already gonna pretty much die. What? Hello, dude. Be quiet. You must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks in lies and wants you dead. Does everybody want me dead? Do not go home, but I can stay clear of home in town. You have some friends yet, do you not? Three friends, sure. The town is yours, Barak. May you soon find how deep how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores. Learn vein and artery, nerve and blood cell. You need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm would come to me. Should I tell you more than I can? Uh, thanks, dude. Uh, don't die, please, I guess. Uh, this is, uh, okay. I can talk to them. Well, Barak, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. Are you with that crowd? Of course I'm not. They were just peaceful townsfolk. It's peaceful, my butt. Craftsmen, factory workers, good sons and fathers, but me, I'm much more dangerous. I am the mask of fate. 
Yeah, uh, they tried to kill me. My esteemed colleague will explain. Oh, Talon. Is that his name or is that the type of creature with the pussy eyes? So what do you want to tell me? You've been bashed on the head several times. And the local's fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss, too, and the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? My heart's too soft. Yeah, uh, none. Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days and that you didn't sleep last night, did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical, too. I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first. What's your plan? Any good advice? Dressing your wounds would be a good idea. Thanks for the tutorial, Talon. Oh, uh, well, I'm not gonna be cocky and be like, I already got some, but, uh, we're gonna get bandages. A drugstore, Barack. You've been studying surgery for six years and you're just finding this out now? But it's not just about the wounds. Even when they're dressed, you still need to be aware of your body. It's not always on your side. Pay attention to its needs. <sighs> okay, I'll figure it out. What next? Next, you die anyway, because the whole town will soon have it out for you. And it's got nothing to do with the three poor souls you've just done in. Why do they hate me? My colleague over there can explain it better. That's his role. Mine is teaching you how your body works, so you don't die before you make it home. So you're totally metagaming right now, telling me how to play the game. Uh, fair, 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 okay. So I can talk to him again. Uh, we'll talk to this guy first. Sorry about the frame rate. I don't know why it's so bad. I think this game just isn't optimized well. Beak. Welcome back home, Warden. You've been away a while. You probably don't even remember the heady scent of Twi in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? No clue. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children loved their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Uh, should I say sorry? Yeah, uh, who was killed? You knew the victim, less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you'll learn more soon. But I personally can't divulge this sort of information. Investigator's privilege. So you're an investigator. Ah, to me all, everyone lies. So you can only get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. It's an actual quote from him, by the way, because I happen to know him. And we got even better acquaintance today. How about you? Did you two argue much? Ooh, you know him? Indeed, old Isidore Barak is the exemplar of a true doctor, and a true human being if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? He's the reason I returned. Nothing's a threat to him anymore, trust me. Maybe dishonor, but even that's unlikely. You're a man of obligation after all, aren't you? No dishonor. No dishonor your family. Whatever. That bit's not important. Time is short. Uh, by the way, Barak... Time is important. Be careful how you spend it, and beware that you don't have much left. How much? You've got less than two weeks, Barak. Twelve or so days. Trust me, I'm a specialist. So use your time well, and hurry home now. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. Yeah, I should return home. Can't talk to him. Talk to him. Persistent, huh? Good. Maybe you'll even survive a day or two this way. <laughs> got a bite? Food is sold in shops, though your reputation might prevent you from a warm welcome. But there's a meat warehouse nearby that was conveniently broken into recently. The perpetrators walk down the railroad tracks. They're ahead and to the right. Think you can catch up to them? Yeah, sure. Godspeed, Barak. Though I doubt it'll be easy, God's presence or not. Any useful advice? Be careful, be stealthy. People are scared out of their minds now and quick to attack. Trust no- yeah, I know. They attacked me. Speak to my esteemed colleague over there. He wants a word with you. I already have. Alright. It's probably not... Yeah, I already did. So, anyway. We need to go... Uh, yeah, grocery. That must be the thing that I'm going towards. So... Oh, set marker. Nice. That's what this game needed. Uh, uh, where is it? Anyway, yeah, going the right way, so the marker's useless right now, it seems like. Basically, we follow the tracks till we get there and we get some food. That's what we need to start this game off right. Am I right? Okay. Okay, the warehouse is on this side, so we'll get to it. Uh, search a trash can. Spring, nice. 
I've already got a lot of loot, so that's good. Ah, uh, should drink water while we can. Fill our bottles and drink. Man, we really were thirsty. I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're already full, so. Hello, people of the warehouse. What's going on? Howdy doody, y'all. She must be offended or ashamed. She's free to go, we told her. But she refuses. I'll have you know we were respectful. We only checked her legs. It's mandatory, and she has normal human legs, so free to go now. Yeah, there she stands. Checked her legs? Neither clay nor bone. She's a living normal girl, not a shabnat, and so she's free to go. Yet she doesn't. She must be offended. The step people have odd morals. They don't fear death. They refuse to cut a body and are ashamed of strange things. What shabnak? A shabnak, a creature of step legends. They say Earth disgorges it, and it steals a woman's form and goes around murdering folks. It's all silly, of course, but we had an order to check, so we do. Who ordered it? We're the Subarov's people. Each of the three houses assigned someone to look for the monster, the old Gimskis, the Canes, of course, and uh, obviously the Subarovs, the latter being us. Who might you be, good sir? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I should say that, but I'll try. Oh, send my regards to your father. Most respectable man, he dragged my daughter from beyond the grave. We must almost gave up on her. You tell him that. You tell him that Peter the Nightjar sends his fondest regards. I will. Thanks, Peter, right? Okay. Yeah, um, let's make sure we're going the right way. Straight ahead. Looks like this might be it. Oh, okay, that's, uh, I'll check that out in a second. That's our old buddy, old pal from way back when. This little building right here is what we're looking for the grocery after we loot this trash can no. okay let's check it out uh, lag all right what we got looks like this is the only way to go Hey, it's an actual grocery. Uh, what do I have? Okay, I'm hungry, so I need to eat something, but um, make sure trade. Make sure I don't need to buy something first. What do you take for a uh, spring? Oh, a lot, actually. Okay. So we could get some actual food. Not much. Meat? Wow. Huh. Okay. Might try some of this stuff. We don't need... Oh, a pocket watch is valuable. Let's put in a name. Fishing hooks. Um, we can put the pocket watch in there. Get some food. Uh, some meat. Just so we don't die, you know? So that would be bad. Yeah, uh, might as well buy as much as we can. Okay. Yeah, let's buy some hazelnuts as well, I think. Or actually walnuts. Uh, kids like them, so they'll, they'll, they'll have some stuff we can trade. So we'll do that trade. I accept. Cool, thank you for your uh, money. I love how stealth is just... It's like you wrap your cloak around you in the shroud of darkness, and that's it. Alright, so we're good. We're good here. Let's go back to our buddy old pal. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Please edit that out. Alright, here we go. Let's go say hi. What was his name? Red something or other?
Oh, that's where the marker is. You have to press control. I see. Hello, hello, my boy. What must be, will be. Okay. Well, look who's entered my humble home. Could that be my pal Artemy, the artist? The Artemy who cuts arteries, maybe? No, I don't recognize this man. Too soft. They must have kept him swollen and cold up whatever place he ran off for. Oh, uh, palace, sorry. I left for school. Good to see you too. Little bird told me you're a hard-boiled criminal now, I'll admit, old friend. I got misty-eyed with pride. Lucky for you, I can store you anywhere in the warehouses. No quail, no nightingale would sing a tune. Ah, uh, your storekeeper. Forget it. Tell me this, friend. What's your plan? Why? Cup, your old man got killed this night. You haven't heard? What? Heck, Artemy. Half the town wants your head over this. These fools. Ah, uh, easy to fix. Give it a little time. I don't believe you. Just stay away from Sabarov. I mean it, Cub. The man's a hawk. All might makes right. There's no sense. I'll throw you in jail first and only thinks months later. I know your thick skull too. You charge in there. Shoulders squared. Think you know the truth will win out. Bullcrap. Stay away. You hear me? Ah, uh, you finished? Okay. Yeah, I can still talk to him. Let's do it. Are the usurer wages war on all poor. Okay. Just nailed barley down. Here we go, all around. What are you talking about? Anyway, you run into the old crowd. Stack, Reuben, Lara. Haven't seen him yet. I haven't gotten that far, dude. Bad grief. Gotta say, it's a tough time for our friendship. I mean, if you could even call this friendship. Gravel hearted Laura won't look at me now. Stacks even worse. He completely ignored my plea for help. What help? You've gone outside recently. It's chaos. Innocent souls torn limb from limb. Everyone's lost their minds heading the culprit. Step Gollum. Something. But others, they're after your hide, friend. All this going on naturally. My men ran into a mob. Barely got out alive. You need a sawbones. Bad. Your old man's gone and a star student stack won't take the job, so. I don't know. Do I need to be patching up um, criminals? I mean, it wouldn't hurt because this place has gone to you know what so yeah I did it in the demo I'll do it again not here Shiner dropped by so they're waiting for death in a hideout poor piecework he's knocking on heaven's door he got something stuck in the belly can you believe folks they're all shapeshifters I swear shedding skin and earth eating each other may not look it but every person in this town has a vile beast inside I need tools tools get you all set friend let's be the warehouses the wellspring of goods including illegal ones there Take a peek inside that crate and choose anything your heart desires. Although, maybe you should stick around. Dangerous out. Uh, yeah, I'll drop by. Wonderful. If you find anything in his belly he doesn't need, don't toss it. Bring it to me. Might be useful. Uh, yeah, you're weird. But okay, I'll do it. Just for you. Thanks, Mr. Dude. I'll look in there. Take what I need, which is actually quite a bit of stuff, so... A lot of money. Rusty scalpel, not bad. Coffee, egg, and bandage. Cool, thanks, dude. Can't talk to nobody else. Yeah, I gotta find people who remember me, who can vouch for me. So, I wonder if. I don't think his father would be able to be saved. I think it's a scripted death, so. Anyway. What we gotta do is get out of this rain and get to, uh, where we gotta go. Okay, we need to find possibly Reuben. Yeah, this questing system is already better than before. I know what I'm doing and where to go. So, thoughts. I got, um, three quests. We got Laura, Reuben, Alexander. Okay, and then we've got, uh, what was it? Yeah, his kid. I mean, his kid, uh, his henchman that got stabbed. So we need to find Reuben. Let's set a, a waypoint for there since it's right next to it. I don't know that it matters. Okay, set a marker. And we need to go that way. So I have one anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But let's uh, see if we can't get out of here. I think I just went in a circle. Oh! Oh no, I probably shouldn't have told that guy. And you are? I see your old Brock's son. You are a ferryman. 
What do you want? I've got bad news. Well, someone sharing your features spilled blood. It became known. People want revenge. They say that whoever murdered the three men at the station today is also responsible for Simon Kane's death. Simon Kane. Oh no, should I admit it? What else are they responsible for? What else? You won't like it. The townsfolk realize murder is no longer taboo. People sense they can now kill others. First they looked for a shabnakadag and killed several women. Then they they went after the step creatures, odongs. They're frightened, they tend to animals. Uh, there have been many victims. Yes, but you're too filled with your own grief now to care. Uh, you're wrong. You have nothing to do with it, I know. I'm a ferryman, well, almost. Actually, I'm a train driver. I know you were on my train. I wasn't alone. But you were. We drivers can feel the living weight. There's only one human being on the train. You. Hmm, I suspect it was only a dream. The townsfolk aren't too fond of ferrymen and drivers, so we will help you. Go to the quay, show your face to a worm. A worm? We'll take you wherever you ask for a fingernail. Show your face to a man and he helps you out with equipment. Are you serious? He'll take a fingernail. Thank you. Oh no. Um, let's check the map. Nobody cares so far. Um, okay, that could take me to this guy. But I don't need to go there yet, so I'm gonna go here. Let's check for, uh, uh... Okay, so we need to go, I think, left to get to the train tracks, and then we're out of here. So, yeah, that's pretty basic. I'll, I'll try to cut as much of this travel and stuff out as I can, if it's not relevant. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the other side. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I am hungry. I need to eat. I'm gonna die. How do I eat it? Oh, uh, use. Eat. Wow, that actually did a lot. So, next one we could do is an egg. And eh, not as much as I hoped, but anyway. Get some more hunger out. We'll be okay for a little bit. Uh, while we're here, let's also get some water. We need that. Okay, we're good. So, uh, let's be on our way. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh no. They don't like me. That's not good. Wait, still nobody cares though. So it's not that bad. I mean, how bad could it really be? Let's talk to this guy. Oh, my brothers, my brothers and spirits, behold a man head higher than the sky. Behold a creature of well earned pride. Dare I trouble you, good sir, with trivial talk? Oh, how ferocious Mother Nature is. For tis a wrath it must be born. Oh, friend, if only I could quench my thirst, I'd give heaven and earth for a sip of cold water. Uh, drink from the river. Yeah, it's tough to find good water. Anyway, let's trade, boy. Uh, that's all you got? I already got one, so I'm good. Uh, trade. That's all you got? I'm good. Uh, let's talk to this boy. What's up, dude? Oh, uh, trade. My right, bandage might as well come in handy. Uh, he doesn't take anything but water. And it's worth one, so... Nope, not gonna happen. Alright, let's go this way. See if we can get to our friend. Nobody cares about me in the hindquarters, so... Trade. Ah, nice. Let's talk. Oh. Everyone's losing their minds. Heck, they'll start looking for ghosts and boogeymen soon. Shabnaks don't exist. I'll just beat the dang twire bloom and make it our heads swim. Who could ever figure that out now? You know, I swear I recognize your face. Who are you? Uh, wait, is that good or bad? I think it went up. A shabnakadag always steals the form of a woman, but that's mere illusion. Broken the moment it starts to run. 
That's when you notice the legs made of bone or clay, leaves no trace behind. When it runs, the illusion dissolves like a smell carried away on the wind. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, it's myth, not real. You must be an outsider. You lived here as long as I had you'd sing a different tune. Now all my options were it doesn't exist. Here yeah, the earth is alive, bears more than just crops. Sometimes it spits out a horse so unfathomable, you spend the whole night sleeping in fits and starts. Clay and bones cultivate a beast. People don't kill other people around here. Only a Shabnak would do that. Ah, oh, oh, come on, man. Unwelcome, are you serious? Man. That's not cool. Okay, we're not off to a great start, but... We tried. Anyway, let's see if we can find our friend Ruben. Not, maybe not talk to anybody else. No. Don't look at me. Oh, they're running away. Okay. They're scared to did. Okay, Ruben. It's this way. Oh. Here we go. Is Ruben's house. Hello. Anybody home? Check all these doors. People lock their windows and hide children when I approach. Hated? What did I freaking do? I gotta get my trust up somehow, man. Hello, Ruben. Sub, dude. How you doing? Oh, I'm exhausted. On my last legs. Well, one thing is clear. You're a very, very lucky man. Which means you need to take care of yourself. You're so careless, Varrock. It's Artemy Varrock, right? Bar Varrock, yeah. Apologies. Oh, may I ask, is it true that your actions have already resulted in four deaths? Four? I, there was only three. Three. That's what I thought. And who are you? Daniel Dankowski, Bachelor of Medicine at your service. But before we speak any further, I'd like to clarify a rather crucial thing. Just how highly do you hold your sense of duty? Runs in the family. Well, from this point on, you <clears throat> owe me. I just saved you from a rather grisly fate. Uh, I didn't see a rescue team. Your Reuben is utterly murderous and tense. Isidore meant quite a lot to him. Your father was his mentor. Reuben even considers himself Old Brock's true son, unlike you. Anyway, he thinks you're to blame for your father's death. What a little... <laughs> I managed to convince him that you didn't actually kill him. Well, not empirically, but I'm under the impression that in Ruben's mind you still caused your father's death. You did, after all, take your sweet time getting here while Isidore was counting on your help. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I kind of, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Look, you have my condolences, Barack. <laughs> Barack. But since we've established that you owe me, let me explain how you'll repay your debt. Things are about to get a little tense, and I need only one thing. Just do exactly as I tell you. You're a doctor, right? Uh, yeah, we haven't exactly established that, but okay. Um, how are things going to get tense? Today's tragedy won't be the last. I was blessed with a naturally high intelligence. What, like 18 or something? 18 out of 20 on a scale of 0 to 20? And my observations indicate that a very deadly visitor has come to this godforsaken town. That's all I can say for now. I don't like you, bachelor, whatever. Allow me to sum up. Ruben told me he's the only decent doctor in town, but you're a competent surgeon. I need you alive, healthy, and quiet, close at hand. Spare me any wild improvisations. I'll be the one handling the situation. Medicum morbo out here, there. Uh, see if he's any good. Now, see you later, Tata. All right, what you got in here? I'm gonna loot your stuff because you're not very nice. What do you call such a man? A slave. You call him a slave. What? You talking to me? don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a slave. I'm just stealing your stuff. Don't worry about it. It's necessary. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can do. We're hated here. We can't really do much. Hello. So what? The a-hole still in there? The one with the carpet bag? 
<laughs> Throw something at him? Sure. But where's Dr. Rubin? We need a doctor. Oh. The noxious dandy is a doctor. He doctored my butt. We tried talking to him already. He just shoot us away. Uh, the Hippocratic Oath? Okay. That's, there's been a disaster. All Maduke and Wolfling were poisoned. Where are they? In a warehouse with little flags. Go down the railroad to the left. You'll see it. Uh, I'll check it out. Not right now, though. Hello. You're the man everybody's after, right? You look like the description. Oh, what's the description? You know, big, fat, dangerous, with bulgy eyes, a weird leg, a scary mug, and a stupid look on his face. Must be you. Uh, at least I know what I look like now. Really? Well, whatever. It's good we found you. We need help. What for? We need to hold the trial for a murderer. We can't do it without you. Will you help? It was it THE murderer? It's kind of hard to say. So will you come? Um, hmm. Yeah, we might as well. Let's go. Courthouse is a warehouse. The one with the little flags. Hurry up, they're starting soon. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's do the side quest real quick. Everybody hates me. I will be hunted, so... Hello? Hey, Gandala. I didn't do anything. Why did they run away? I don't know. They behave so strange. What are you doing here? I brought my bones here. Why? I won't explain to you. I did nothing wrong. I just brought my bones here. What's wrong with that? These bones are mine. I didn't steal them. I tell the truth. Nothing wrong. Yep. Let's check out. Uh, I need to go kind of straight this way. Stealthily if I... Oh, no. Stealthily if I can. And then I might need to take the ferry to... Uh, Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I'm an idiot. Anyway, uh, I might need to then take the ferry to help that guy. Oh, okay, the trial, yeah. How do I get out of here? It's like the worst way to go. Oh, man. Loot. Nope, you don't see me. Stealth. Stealth. <laughs> Why is there a cow? Okay, let's go. Yes. I can run. But I have stamina, so... I just need to get... Go right. Oh no. That's not good. Let me see if I can go past them. Maybe, maybe not. Hello, people. Don't mind me. Just passing through. I guess it worked. Maybe they don't hate me here. I don't think they do. Let's keep going. Running is probably a bad idea, but time is not on our side here, so. Uh, we're gonna have to do it. That's so one of these buildings is the kid's house. I think it's this one. Ding dong! Oh wait, nope. Ah yeah, the one with the flags and the probably the balloon. Or whatever that is. Yo, kids! It's Bozo the Clown here. Cause I don't know what the heck I'm doing in this game. They they did make an option to have to turn off the intended difficulty, and make it easy, but it seems good enough for now. I was gonna ask you guys if you wanted to decide, but I think it's fine. All right, what's up, what's up, boy? Look, see everyone. The doctor's here. Who's sick? You're too late. They died. Why didn't you come sooner? What kind of doctor are you? Uh, three kids. Not kids, worse. Those are our dogs, Alma, Wolfling, and Duke. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I knew I knew that from playing the demo. So I, they made it sound like they were kids. That trait of Lyca saw you this morning, by the way. You got off the train and beat those thugs to a pulp? <laughs> yeah, 
Hope he turns it into a song. Uh, like, you killed Duke, Whistling, and Alma. Nakin will punish him for that. Don't you need to make sure he's the real deal? Yeah. Poor dogs, they're dead. Wait, there were five. Why is... There were six. Why is only three of them dead? What's up? Nope, we're losing stamina for nothing. Anyway, what's up? I think I'm seeing double. Not kin. Uh, good. good. Uh, who are you? Should you just present the accused? The question first. They say you're not so. You're no son to old Barack. He was a doctor. He saved lives. Said that you killed instead. Is what true? Yeah. I'm a Barack. Answer the question, please. Are you a murderer or no? No. Killing is not necessarily murder. Calm down. Are you uncomfortable doing this in front of my soul and a halves? Uh, aren't you cheeky? Cheeky or not, this isn't a game. I'm talking about something important here. Tch, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to threaten him. I'm all ears. Tell me, is it right to kill? We need to know what you believe. Well, Brock wasn't just a doctor to us. He was a teacher. He knew how to live. You say you were his son. So you were to take his place and answer. Is murder acceptable? Only in self-defense. So murder can be right sometimes. Who are you planning on killing? It's not about me, but about us. My soul and I have always hang together. Answer the question. Take your time if you need to. You may very well be choosing our fate. Okay, this is a loaded question because killing in self-defense is okay. But murder is not killing in self-defense. So murder is never acceptable. Good. We now know the kind of man you are. Here ends the trial. You're free to go. I don't get it. Pfft. Sup, Hide yeah. And seek. Tag. Oh I'll gosh, stop. not more questions. Or we might as well play Ring Around the Rosies. <laughs> so is revenge bad too? Uh... Yes, don't... Yeah, revenge is bad. So you say murder is bad, but it's easy for you to say. You gave Wuffling a bone. Never fed Duke. Never met Laika. I'd like to see if you change your tune when you actually encounter the traitor. I bet my soul you'd lose it and snap his neck. Uh... Really ought to take better care of your soul. It's fine, I have half on top of it after all. You have what? We each have a half besides our own soul. See this grey cat here, chasing his own tail? It's Jester. We're always together. <laughs> the third half. See no cat. Of course you don't. He's my half. Jester will only show himself to you when I trust you. So no one trusts me. Indeed. Why did you mention revenge? Here's the deal. You're so full of the milk of human kindness, go and meet Laika for yourself. And if you truly, honestly believe, believe a lying, cheating, low life like him deserves to go free, let him go free. But if you figure he needs to be taught a lesson, give him this leash. It'll bring him back here, guaranteed. I have his leash, he gave it to me. And then what, you'll kill him? Of course not. Didn't you teach us that murder's never right? But we will send him six feet under. I don't know what that means. You won't kill him, but you'll... Hmm. Ah... Uh... He did poison their dogs, so in this case, maybe, just to continue the quest, I guess, uh, they're not going to kill him technically, maybe? I don't really know, they could just be saying that. We have a deal. Mark says it's by the- ah, I didn't- I didn't say that. I didn't read it. The gum stone, separate from the basket. Aren't you supposed to know all this? Or do you step folk have different names for everything? See you around, pups. <clears throat> Alright, so, uh, we got some weird stuff going on here. Hello. Thank you, thank you for actually coming, you're so brave. Look, we all made a gift for you to welcome you here. See, it's bread. Please don't frown, it's all we can spare. We need to eat too. There's lots of mouse to feed here. Uh, I, I, in the demo, she gives it to you either way, so I'll, I'm gonna try this, see what happens. Come visit uh, when I get back to my house, I'll return the favor. Sorry it's so stale, drink the milk fast because it will go bad soon. The water's fresh from a ravine. Wait, keep it. But you're a guest. Uh, we'll get bad luck, we need more food. Uh, no, I'm not gonna take it. Cloth mask. Okay, I don't need anything you have, and you won't take any of my stuff, so. I heard his cat. Alright, let's go. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna try to keep these episodes pretty long, because this game, I think, is long. Um, so if you get bored, I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm gonna try to do. So we need to go to the ferry, I think. So our next quest, what is this? Um, yeah, I don't need to go home. I need to go to the ferry. 
which is right there, which is a good thing, so we need some water first. Uh, ah. Shock. So I guess, um, as far as stealth goes, you don't lose any stamina or anything you, with uh, going stealthy, but you probably lose time, which is very valuable. Ah. Okay. We got lots of stuff to trade. We'll get uh, get to the ferry really quick. Uh, I think there's water on this side. Oh, I'm already hungry, man. Let's use it, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's ferry time. Go. What's up, Odong? How you doing, man? Hi. We believe you didn't kill our patriarch. We transport you along the gullet and the guzzle, the tributaries of the gold con, or river, kind river. But it will still cost you fingernails, there's no other way. Why? The gold con is a kind river, but its water isn't for humans. You can't drink from the gold con. You ought not walk into it either. We traverse its edge. It's frightening. We need fingernails so that we can always return. I see. Oh, I have to have a token. You are being hunted. You'll need a weapon. It just so happens that no one carries firearms around these parts. It's a peaceful town. It's for the best. And it just so happens that I have a revolver. But I can't give it away for free. For a reasonable price, though. A storekeeper has a way of finding curios. He orders them from the big world to be delivered by train on Big Vlad's behalf. That's alright. The master can take it. Why am I not surprised? Forget it. So you're interested in the deal? How much? Three thousand! I can wait for two days. If you don't take it by then, I'll do business with someone else. My circumstances are humble. As for the money, you'll have no trouble getting it. I said, oh, I must have left you inheritance. It's hard to talk about it now, I understand, but business is business. Uh... I wanted to see my father. Secondly, I said, oh, I must have talked to you out of here and picked medicinal herbs. Then bloom now. And merchants in the broken heart would give you a decent price for them. Oh, sure. Okay. What else you got? Yeah, that's it. Okay, at least nobody's gonna be shooting at me. Um, did I loot these already? Oh. Man, some good stuff. Alright, so let's find out where we're going. Um, could go to our father. We might need to. Yeah, might as well. And then on our way we'll go uh, here. Uh, set a waypoint. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be hated, but that's okay. Even the kids, I'm sure, will attack me. Let's get through here as fast as we can. I don't think everyone attacks, just the guards. Okay, let's try to be stealthy here. Oh no, he's just a hobo. Don't worry about it. Uh, we have to wait until... Oh, hello, Odong. Why are you running? Why are you running? Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? At last, the crowd now gathers round my act. Sit down like that. Now watch Death by Starvation. So the good Sir Francis a slice, have one. Shan't last in half hour's time. My act resumes. Come see Death by Starvation, lads and lasses. Let's find another frequent toast. Wrong. You should look for freaks that trade and trash. Perhaps homeowning freaks too foolish to see as you rummage through their paltry things. That... Yeah. Oh, he did give me some toast. Thanks, bud. Uh, and by the way, I'm not stupid. I'd already rummaged through the trash. Hey, it's right here. So, uh, let's go home. For a quick visit, shall we? Is he going to my house as well? Because you're welcome. I love that running animation, by the way. It's so laggy, but good. 
Hello, house. Okay, here we go. This is not good. I guess it doesn't matter because this is ha supposed to happen. Hello, people. I, I'm guessing you all are wondering why I have gathered you here today. Okay, uh, you don't want to hear it, so you can't go inside. Let's talk to this kid over here. What's up? Well, knows the kitten whose meat it has eaten. Who are you? That's not important. Who you are? I'm old Broxa. What I want to know is why are you covered in blood? Haven't you seen the streets? Whatever. But I'll remember you. Uh, nice meeting you. Please give me some, uh, some leeway with these people, because they, they're going to attack me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, eventually, I think I go inside, but not right now. Let's talk to everyone. Eh, look shut. Won't let anyone in. Not that I object. It must be ordered. So, it was ordered. Who ordered that? Soborov, of course. The governor. See, it's the house levels. So, you're Barak's son, then. The one who left town so long ago. You missed him by hours. Guess it was in the car. Wasn't in the cards. Couldn't you have gotten here, say, yesterday? Everything would be different, then. He waited for you so eagerly. Yet I've returned. That's right. The crowd's gone mad, like frightened children. So you gotta catch someone, anyone, and no idea who. Some say it was an outsider, others a shabneck. When it hits home, people are quick to drag the clay wench from the depths of memory. Why an outsider? Who else? I don't know, but I'll find out. Who else can I talk to? You? Oh, but of course he wasn't killed. People are mad with grief, so they pout nonsense. And Sabarov, he's only too happy to prey on these rumors. And dig his claws deep into this case to flaunt his value, mark my words. Well, yes and no. The real ruler is fat for lad. Money's power and the town's business all belongs to Olgimsky. The factory, the abattoir, the railroad, all his. The Canes still have their power of fear. And Sabarov, well, he's technically the leader of the three. But only technically. Tell me about it. Obviously it isn't murder. But he's given the order to seize anyone who might even be remotely suspicious. If I were you, I wouldn't go to Savarov. Although he did take the key, you probably want to pay your last respects to your father. He was taken by Savarov's men. Where? No clue. People used to bring the dead to your father. You know, a doctor. How we live now? No idea. Unbelievable, the war. The train delayed. What a terrible year. Do you even have a place to stay now? Uh, I have three friends. You think they still remember you? It's been six years, after all. Someone has to. Alright. So I think we need to go here to fix the wounded man. Let's go do it. And then we can go this way to our friend's house. Buddy old pal. Anyway. Hello, Odong. If you see a man, run. Men are angry today. They kill the likes of you and I. Why? Looking for a murderer. Turning into murderers themselves. This is how a town changes. But yet it doesn't. I don't know what that means, but I said it. Oh. What happened? Hi. Ha ah, why? Cause the sad, this mind on me noda. What do we do now? Did you do this? No. Just where uh, it's why a mob. The step is in bloom and people get crazed, but never before was it this bad. Old wives' tale. The climate golem sometimes emerges from the ground. Looks like a woman, but it's earth, clay, rock, and marrow. The story claims it has legs of bone and this uncanny way of walking. And the brides, you know, they have a special walk too. I believe this. In the morning, people screamed about a step abomination that had left no footprints and had bones for legs. But now, look, it's only a girl. A step girl, sure, but alive. Yeah. Don't you know how it goes? Get her! One screams and the rest crowd without hesitation. Especially in the night. Especially with their minds intoxicated. Not everyone can think for themselves. It's easy just to do as you're told. So have you been listening, lad? I'm telling you. This is the first time. The world must be coming to an end. Indeed, yeah. It's pretty sad. Oh man, she's like naked too. Hello. I find myself exhausted. Soon to fall for... Dead tired, they say. I wonder what it means. No good at riddles. When exhaustion peaks, soon death follows. But how can one escape such a fate? By getting some sleep. But woe is me if I have no place to sleep. Doors lock before this low tragedy. No one welcome here in this hometown. Same here. 
Go home, Barak. Repose will do you good. But should you find another cot, be quick to steal sleep. Sweet dreams, misfortune seeker. Thanks. Okay, so we should just go straight this way. So far I haven't run into anybody. This guy looks like he wants to hurt me. So I'm going to stealth past him and hope he doesn't notice me. Probably not going to work. Oh, jeez. Not this. No, I don't want to get punched. Oh, come on, man. It's right here, so... Right. Yep, we're good. We made it. Just barely. That's the room, I think, so, uh, let's check the rest of the house really quick. I think every time the clock sounds, it's something to do with time passing. So, we really do need to be careful about it. Okay. Yeah, so that's all we got. Let's go to this guy. Hello. And you are Doctor from Bad Grief. One of ours got himself cut, is what happened. Shiv stuck in his side. A lot of blood, see? At least he's breathing for now. Got water? No, don't you forget to give him alcohol or powders, anything. Gotta kill the pain first. A twitchy man, this one. You flop around like a fish. Powders? No idea. But you got something cut with? That dang thing stuck deep. Try to get out with a knife, didn't work. Need those special knives. Scalpels? Yes, I do have a scalpel. No, we've been doing God's work. Who did away with old Barak? A shabnak, that's who. So we tracked the man eater. Then all the step trash poured in, yelling that she's no shabnak. They took out shivs, ton of them too. Ten of them on two. Oh, they killed her. One of them. We avenged Barak. Piecework himself grabbed her. Don't you glare at me like that? Come on. Help the man. Can't you see he's about dead? Do what Bad Grief said. Some doctor he sent us. Shut up. Yeah, so he pretty much deserved it. So if he dies, I don't really care, honestly. Let me see what they got in here. Oh, yeah. Twyron. Nice. Nice, I got lots of stuff. Okay, well, let's get to... Oh, one more. Alright, let's get to work on our boy. Um, surgery! Okay, uh, we got the scalpel. He said it's in his belly. So... Let's poke at his head. No, just kidding. Um, that's all I got is a rusty scalpel, so here we go. We got a shiv, don't we? Ready to go. Uh, this is a splinter. You're clearly not from around here. This is a local tradition. We don't keep knives. They might call them the cutlery, but it sure ain't for cutting. Godless beasts who fear neither life nor death make these disposables. Jab once and it breaks. All about observing the custom. Yeah, I know the custom. Oh, I could do more surgery on him? Ah, uh, did I not get the shiv because I don't didn't have room for it? Oh, I did, okay. Bloody lockpick. It's a bloody lockpick, mate. Alright, I'll put these here so I can have room for stuff because it has to fit so um man I'm hungry uh eat the Kanesh girl okay uh that's good for now now that we did that we'll get out of our out of the 
out of here and uh, loot this first. We need somebody to trade with. We're actually pretty good on uh, morphine. Okay. We're actually pretty good on uh, resources. Let's see if we can't. Get, oh, hello. Look around, Barack, at this abandoned house. Um, what about it? The visa code, all you need to survive? Managing. I heard the edge that you mimic those two, but times are dire. In which you need, you may find lurking in empty houses. Uh, and the owners should return abruptly. You were neither first nor last criminal here. <laughs> yeah, I could. Exactly. Tis your life at stake, and things are merely things that you might then repay. You might indeed a doctor. Yeah, his conscience. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any lockpicks anyway, so... Oh, I can! Uh, I'm, I'm good for now, though. I honestly have all I need. So, let's see where I need to go. I need to go across here, run all the way to the house, and then we'll be good. Oh, you know what? The kids was a place to, to save, so... Uh, I forgot about that. Anyway, uh, let's go that way. So, we need to go left, 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 and then straight there. So be prepared to run. Let's trade with the kids first, because... Yo, kid. Um, what is that? Soap? I don't need soap, man. So, are they all finished over by the stake? The trial complete? Uh, what trial? Did you hit your head somewhere, big guy? You just stupid. Caught a man eater at the bone stake lot. Clay demon from the step. Look, I don't have time to catch up with some ran random idiot. What lot? What an idiot. If you, I'd say you're an outsider, but you're dressed like a factory worker. That where you hit your head? The lots in the skinners. Uh, got it. Okay, let's see what you got. Hello. Hey, big fella. On your way here, did you hear anything? Like a train? No. Train's already two weeks late. You might be where staff soon. Like we've almost run out of sweets. Uh, who'd have bought it away? All her buttons for a lump of sugar yesterday. Unbelievable. Keep my buttons. What's up, kid? You still have a name? Yep. Father threw his out. He's faceless now. Makes me kind of sad. Why'd he do that? I guess he did something bad. I wonder what. I don't know. Really? Do you know for sure? Because he can't tell now. You just don't stop loving him. I don't know what that means, but okay. Oh, a fingernail. It's fairy token. Okay. I could actually get this. Um. Put that in there. <laughs> Speaking of names, so... Yeah, I'll give you that. Oh yeah, uh, okay. Take the trade. Thanks, kid. Next, uh, some food if we can. How fares your kind, Katanga? Bayadala, how fares you, kind? We, the Katanga, must help each other out. You are our kin. You should get into fights, Tanga. You always lose, no matter who remains standing. Think, if they kill you, then it's very bad. But if you kill them, it's still bad. Everyone will hate you. Won't let you in. Sell you food or barter. You'll be hunted. Do you need a wolf's life? Yeah. Don't get into fights soon, ain't they? Clean up your name first. As time passes, people will accept you. Then do as you please. Let Mother Bolto caress your step. Okay. Wait, did she give me that? Okay. Tweezers. Okay. Egg, here we go. Ah, dang it, I don't have anything else they'll take. They don't take money, I guess, so. Ah, okay. Let's uh, get back to business, shall we? Okay, so left, left, left. Way. Talk to this other stringy dude. I'm in the Chinese now. What's up, dude? This desk keeps driving down to my death. Drink some water. I have no water, sir. You see, all in itself, I know no solution. Same here. Indeed. See me act out your fate, dear fool. Help somebody help this desk is soon to kill me. 
You die, my friend, that's how it ends. Water is all around, the puddles make cold drink. Sipped from the fountain spouts from barrel bungs. The bottle is all new. Here I have one. Oh thanks, dude. Okay. Um Okay. Um sorry, I forgot to make a waypoint for this, so shouldn't be too bad. Just go uh straight through here. Right. Yeah, okay. So if you wanna trade? One and two and one and two. Step has gotten into you. Breeze air in the fall of ice before he sees it all. If only I'd never be that good. When did you last sleep? The circles around your eyes, the wheezing, just observing facts. You an outsider? Just been away for a while. Mom says that while twire, chicken pox, cranberry swish, and all joy, and joy all bloom, you have to sleep every five hours, or your head will explode. You're thinking of a stroke. <laughs> Mom is right. Oh, this might... Yeah, it seems to be expert on the local herbs. She's right. Ah, uh, did that... Oh, that... That helped. Good. Uh, you have morphine. I have some. I don't need it, so I'm good. Okay, this is gonna be a fun journey. Honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get past these guys. I'm gonna have to catch them off uh, off the route or something. And the loading lag is off. Oh, jeez. Finally, we're back together. I've been waiting for you, Brock. Will you have me now? What? Uh, who are you? Wait, I seem to recognize your face. Sure. Uh, don't you remember the Kobolon? Well, I remember you. I remember your words. So you have me now. An herb bride? You live in... What is an herb bride? Your hands are so heavy. Shh, don't touch me yet. Where is the dress with tail and it's no good? The tails and the rest must have appeared on their own during the dance, just like the earth is torn apart from the Lisa's herbs. What? Uh, what is this? Shit, that, that must be, that sounds like something bad that I shouldn't be messing with. I'm not touching. So will you have me now? Will you be joined forever? What? Something is off. Fine, I'll wait for you to remember me. We'll meet again soon, I'll find you. But now, so I remember who I am, Kobaloon. Sick of the name, or there'll be trouble. Uh, don't worry. I don't know what that means, but okay. Hi. Anyway, uh, back to our destination. Somewhere to sleep now. Hello. Is this your money, sir? I think you dropped your purse. Yep. Uh, it's kind of a test of character. It's not my wallet. Save money, sir. You'll need it. Yeah, really. I mean, well, I do know. Optimist. Alas, today is not the day for come. Suspicious folk from out of town or outlawed. But the shop that deals in stolen loot stood among the warehouses, trading with all sorts of no regard for reputation. So you may find a use for money yet. I did. Just the kind of place I'm looking for. Well, thanks, dude. Thanks for the money. Man, I got a long ways to go. And I am freaking hungry. Let me eat this. Wow, that's actually really helping. And let me drink some... Ah, oh, okay. I got a lot of water. Drink the water. I need to save these for trading. I have two fairy tokens. Okay. Anyway, let's be on our way. Loot the place while we're at it. Hello. You have soap. Nothing but soap. All right, fair enough. You have needle, and you have egg. Let me see what I can give you. Nothing. That sucks. Oh, okay. Hello. 
I'd like to trade with you for my conscience sake, but no one will trade with thieves or murderers. Barter's about trust. Okay, we'll try to convince him. Barter is a sacred tradition. You understand it's not about objects at all. It's just old. You're weird. Your fate won't improve my life. Only my own trust. Get it? When I trust someone, I get lucky, so good things come my way. Ah, forgiveness. Yeah, it went up. Not enough, though. That's what we need to be doing here, is clearing our name, little by little. Let's check all the trash cans while we're at it. Ah, dang it, I wasted my water, but that actually means that I could fill it up. Hello, I'm not a stranger. Don't look at- oh, no. Don't look at me. This also consolidates my inventory slots. So we'll drink one more time. And we good. I'm honestly surprised at the lack of guards because they're uh, they're pretty tough in the demo. Aha! All right, we're getting very close. What's up, my man? That's him. Oh, he doesn't like me. Oh well. I'm gonna check I'm digging this trash can, maybe it'll improve his trust. What is this? Oh, no, I'm not gonna. Well. Prob okay, yeah, they don't trust me. They just know I'm not good. Loot. Huh, not bad. Okay, let's continue. We're almost there. We're so close to, uh, what is it, Laura? Lara? Laura's house. Yeah, I'm hated. By him, apparently, but he doesn't want to hit me. Unlike some people I know. Oh, nice. Marbles. Someone lost theirs. So we need to go uh, that way, but I'm going to check really quick. There's a trash can at least. How do I do this? I forgot. He doesn't like me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm dead, man. Oof. Pretty much dead. That's not good. Not good at all. I need out of here. Save me, dude that doesn't like me. Oh, wrong way. Need to go right. Ooh, I stabbed him in the neck. That should get. Why am I dead? Ah, uh, I'm gonna get to, uh, what's his name, and I'm gonna be lo lose all my freaking progress. Dang it. Ah. Uh. Yeah, what's up? Rise and shine. Don't you dare kick the bucket on me, low life. Around here we die on our own attempts, not by the hands of others. That you were, pal, that you were. Tired, do you need a bite to drink? I can share, but you have to pay for the water, not too much around. I've got plenty of water, use some bread. Look, pal, this won't do. Gave up my own blanket to carry you. Guess what you did? Coughed a blood all over it, a-hole. You owe me a blanket now, a nice wool blanket. Wouldn't mind seeing a little spirit from you, either. you know what I mean? What happened to me? So there you are, dead as a doornail. Damn, we dived to pluck your teeth out then. Wow, turns out you're alive. The crop over there says, Don't you touch him, you vultures. He's bad grief's best friend since childhood. Well, crop, this time, was not full of crap. Now, nah, bad grief's all happy. Even rewarded us. Go ahead, say hello. He's over there. Well, thank you. You owe me a blanket, got it? And a little gift for saving you. Something top shelf. I got it. Thanks for the bread, dude. What's up? Time enough for rest after death. Let us rest on this mountain. I forgot what, gave, what voice I gave him. Let us rest on this mountain. Oh, let us rest by the river. 
That's the song your people sing when times is hard, isn't it? That's piecework. I assume he's kicked the bucket. No, I patched him up. Cobb, my friend, you didn't mess around in school, huh? Ain't the heck with stack. Let him sulk. He only makes it worse for himself. The plan is to live, live and breathe, and thieve and leave. What'd you find inside piecework? Just curious. Ah, uh, yeah, shivs. Man, yeah, that's people for you. I've been wondering what our kind townsfolk fashion those little bobs from. I see, I see. This explains you broke into Warehouse 8 last week. They thread unravels. I'll make a note of this. If you find more shivs, bring them to me. Don't give them to the kids, even if they offer bullets. Bullets? Those kids have some nerve. Armed to the teeth, playing at war. They carved off a nice slice of turf while you were gone. Won't be long till the cane starts pushing us around. Look, pointy as they'll offer you loot they stole from me in exchange for pointy things. Premium items. Don't be a little poop. Just come see me. Premium. Got myself a nice little business. You need weapons or anything illegal? Come see me. A lady peeked below the counter. Nothing for free, of course. No discounts either. My men wouldn't respect that. Be glad I trust you enough to make any deals. So what'll it be? Show me. Oh, nice. Bullets, but I don't have a gun. Knife, that's expensive. Uh, I can't afford any of that, you know? I don't think. Anyway. Dude. I think I could get a needle from the kids for like three. Three monies. Or three monies worth, anyway. Uh, I'm good. I don't need any of that. And I can't afford it, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I need to go to the kid's house to save, because apparently that's how you do it. What's up, dude? So, you're a trained surgeon. Good, this is good. Shame that your steam degree is of no help to me. Why is that? The kin has not accepted you yet. You are Barak's son, but sharing blood is not enough. Supposedly, you are a menku by birth, but in truth you aren't. You went away to study who knows where, leaving all you people behind. Old folk don't appreciate that. Will the kin accept you at all? A menku. I'm not a stepman, but I do know that among your lot, only menkus can become butchers, wise men or surgeons, because they know the lines. Is that what you call it? The art of understanding the world? The lines? Lines. And that's why you and I have nothing to talk about yet. You may know how to wield a scalpel, but you don't know the lines. And in this town, no one would trust you to cut a body before you comprehend the world's design. So you can't help me out. Who are you? I'm Va. I have a, a business. An unusual one. Your father used to deliver certain goods to me. And I came to ask bad grief. He's a bandit, after all. A law unto himself, but turns out he's too little of it to cross this particular boundary. Ah, uh, what kind of business? I buy blood and organs, body components, human components. Jeez, that's kind of what I thought, but wow. You need an, you're need you looking for an eye, I'm sure. What for? You know, Minku, you wouldn't understand. Forget it. Show me where you live. I want to talk to you about the kin some more. Thanks, dude. Keep all my options open, even if they're terrible ideas. Alright, um, let's leave. Let's go and find the kiddies. Uh, I always forget uh, time is passing. Ah, here we go. Let's go straight forward. Let's find the. Let's go to the butcher, the grocer first, and buy some food. We have not eaten the steak yet. Oh, I kind of want to cook it. So he buys blood. So I'll fill my bottles just for space for now, and drink water. But um, if he buys blood, and people are dead. It doesn't matter, I don't think. Although, really, the dead people are going to have probably the plague or something, so... It's probably not the best idea, but who cares. Hey, you got some stuff, man. I'm going to trade that. That. Might buy these for the kids to trade. Have some trading options and that. How much we got? 440. Uh... Charms are kind of useless, so we use them to buy stuff. I mean, we need, we might need the gun. I don't think we do, but I mean, we should be in pretty good uh, esteem soon. I forget what does it, uh, but at some point you get uh, people on your side. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, this seems like the best thing because it's kind of useless. 
So, do that. Buy all of his stuff. Okay. Thanks, dude. I'll be on my way now. Alright, this is probably going to be our last stop for this video, just because it's gone so long, and I didn't end up getting to my destination. We'll save here. And I hope we can make it to uh, Laura's house next time. Knives, scissors, blades, razors, anything sharp. If you go to Sharp Axe, I'm interested. Sharp wit. These items are what I bought before. We need them. Yeah, you don't. Are you a butcher? I'm a surgeon. It's like a butcher. There once was a man of great humor. A sharper knife. Man, you got some good stuff. Who found he was dead of a tumor. But he wo woke up today. To they got the same man. stuff. And that of his cow once he took her. Alright, let's talk to Nutkin. Okay, we can't. Let's uh, save the game. Before we freaking lose everything. Sweet. I kind of want to know if I can get up here. It looks like it's supposed to be that way. Don't know what this is. And there's obviously something up here. Oh, for the dogs, okay. Alright. Anyway, we saved the game. Um, let's quit, because I, I honestly don't know if I have enough support, uh, recording space left. But, um, yeah, thanks, kid, for letting me use your clock. I know that sounds weird, but anyway, I uh, hope you all guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like if you did. Subscribe to Squasky Bros for more gameplay commentary like this on uh, Pathologic and other games. I literally have hundreds of games on Steam and in physical copy. Uh, if you guys want me to play anything, let me know and I'll tell you what I have. So, yeah. And also, don't forget there are affiliate links in the description below that will support the channel if you use them to shop on places like Amazon. And as always, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.